Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you all how to bind the uh, rig to uh, the mesh. So um, it's called uh, uh, binding the skin basically. So I'm going to bind, I'm going to turn back on my x-ray joints and on my layers I'm going to make sure on my character on the base mesh layer here I have it to the blank one not the R because then I can't select it. It needs to be the blank one. And same thing with character joints. So I'm going to select the mesh and then I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to shift select the root joint, the main root joint. And now under rigging I'm going to go to skin and bind skin. And now what we've done is binded the skin to the character. Now you'll notice it doesn't deform 100% right yet, but that's just because we need to do some adjustments. But you'll see our character is pretty well going so far. Uh, I'm going to move this foot. A lot of times, this is one of the reasons why I tell you to separate the feet during your concept art uh, period. Um, is because you'll get you'll see this subtle pull here and the closer the legs are the more pull you'll get and it'll become more difficult to skin weight but you'll see that this character is really uh, animating fairly well um, I need to clean up this section a little bit but for the most part it's pretty good and then let's go ahead and kick this knee out and we'll see for the most part it's pretty good but it needs some adjustments like this is a little wonky but um, and this is where uh, I'm going to bring it back into its bind pose. That's what it's called, bind pose. And um, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to just go ahead and select on my mesh and I'm going to go to skin. So select your mesh, go to skin, and paint skin weights. I like to have the tool settings open. Now another thing I want to, uh, I don't believe it's even possible to set up symmetry in this. No, I don't believe there is. But it won't matter because we're going to paint skin weight the one side and then we're going to mirror the skin weights to the other side. Sort of like how we did the joints. We just kind of uh, created the joints on one side and then we just mirrored them. We're going to do the same thing with skin weights. So as long as your character is perfectly symmetrical, you'll be able to do this um, no problem. And I'm going to change a renderer. So now you can see um, this should work in viewport 2.0. Yep. Render viewport 2.0. Uh, I like to keep it on legacy default when I can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this left hip. And <clears throat> you can see it's black and white or uh, grayscale, if you will. And I'm just going to get this into like a position in which this knee is going to sort of bend in. You'll notice it get really weird deformation in here. It looks really wonky. We know that doesn't really happen. What happens is our like calf muscle would smush against our uh, thigh, right? Um, but I'm going to start right here in this hip region and just show you how to do this. So using the paint skin weights tool, holding B and left clicking will uh, adjust the size of your brush from left to right, uh, big or small basically. And then holding control, will you'll see it says invert, R-INV, can you see that? Um, and what that does is it deselects things. So painting directly on, I'll just show you, you'll see I'm adding skin weights and it's doing some really, really weird stuff, but it, holding control will start to take some of that off. So I'm going to start to just get this a little bit out here. Now another thing is holding shift and shift is going to smooth. So it works exactly like the sculpt tool. Um, and I'm just going to start in this region right here. And then in here I might smooth out a little bit, but not too much. 
and what happens is if you're trying to um, basically decrease the amount of um, texture stretching you would get in something like this. I'm going to bring my brush smaller and I'm going to just smooth in as best as I can in this sort of region right here. And I might even need to add more into the thigh itself right here and just kind of do something like that and even maybe even adding maybe too much here. And you can undo a couple steps if you need to. So this one will be directly off of the knee joint. I'm just going to continue. And get it to a point where it kind of looks like it might be somewhat realistic. As best as I can get it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right? So just as good as you can get it. So something like this will work. And even underneath the leg here, I'm going to go to the knee next. You'll notice on the on the hip, I might want to pull this down a little bit. Maybe not too much, but just a, enough. And then maybe in the knee, so I'm selecting the knee over here. And this is the tool setting right here. So you need to have that open. And in the knee, on the calf, I'm going to start to paint directly in and start to sort of get this look that I'm going for. And then I'm just going to smooth out a little bit in here. Give it a little bit more of a look. And in the knee itself, I'm going to add a little bit more in here. And then I'm going to soften that out. brush a little bit smaller. And another thing you can do is you can actually turn down the opacity or the value. So let's just say the value is too strong for me at the moment. Right? I'm going to bring it to 0.5. It starts to paint directly 0.5 on it. Now if I keep it up and I bring down the opacity, it's only going to add a little bit at a time. So the value directly affects 100% click on it, whereas the opacity will sort of soften out the selection if that makes sense. Just play around with it and you'll kind of get a feel for it. Uh, there's no really other better way to kind of explain it or what have you. So now let's click off. And this is heavily dependent on the actual texture, but it's starting to look more and more like a character bending his leg versus how we had it before where it was really, really strange. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. You'll see I still have a lot of stuff in here that I'd like to fix up. And I'm going to go ahead and just paint more in here. And then I'll just soften that out just a smidget. There we go. And what I'm going for is when this leg comes up, it kind of does that little realistic smush that uh, would happen in a normal scenario. So you can see it's starting to really interact pretty well. Now the other thing I need to do is go back here, select on my paint tool, or my uh, skin uh, paint skin weight tool, and I'm going to bring my opacity up all the way to 100%, and I'm going to increase the brush size. I'm just going to start to hold control. And I want to get this at an angle you can really see. Hold control, and you see it subtly shift a little bit here and there. Um, you, do, you see it right in the beginning. And you'll see it a little bit right here on the calf. And all I'm doing is trying to get rid of any additional weights on the opposite leg. And now I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm going to animate the ankle. And that looks a little weird. Let me see here. And I just want to make sure it's not doing anything too strange. I think that's pretty good. So now I'm going to take it down to 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0. And I'm also now going to take one look at my controllers. So like the ball raise, that's pretty good. I'll dig it. All right. Bring that down. Pretty much so far so good. The heel, working pretty good. I, I got a little weirdness right there. So what I'll do is I'll go into my paint skin weights. I'll bring down my brush size. And I'm just going to hold shift and just sort of soften that out a little bit with the smooth holding shift 
and maybe it helps maybe it doesn't but just to give you an idea of some things you could do and I'll bring that back down I know the heel pivot should work pretty well pretty well and make sure it goes back the other way pretty well and then the bank now this this will work fine but you can go in and tweak it and then just make sure also that you're not getting any pull on the opposite foot joints and you'll see I'm actually still I can't I'm trying to point at the screen you'll see right in here you see how I'm getting some some movement so I need to figure out where that movement's coming from and by selecting my mesh selecting the skin weights tool I'm just gonna increase this brush size and hold control and I'm gonna go down to the like the ankle and hold control and just start to get as much in the ball toe right and the left toe and just get as much of that out as I can I'll go back to the hip and just make sure yeah I can see it a little bit now just a little bit up in this region and something like that will work just fine alright so next thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm gonna ignore the right side for now I'm gonna just keep it on the left um, the body usually turns out pretty good for rotation and stuff so I wouldn't worry too much about it um, the shoulder isn't an area that needs to be addressed and uh, actually the head does typically as well you'll usually get some kind of strange you see how his head his eyeballs are sort of popping out of his eyes um, we're gonna have to go in and fix that so um, give me a moment and we'll get to this so I'm gonna go to my shoulder I'm gonna rotate this down and you'll see I'm getting some really weird deformation in there so I'm gonna select on the mesh I go to paint skin weights tool and on my L shoulder left shoulder I'm gonna hold control and just start to get rid of some of the stuff in here that's seems to be affecting it really really in a negative way I guess you'd say we're just gonna try to make it look a little bit nicer and even bringing that up really really did help quite a bit now that didn't so I'll run a smooth real quick and then just kinda knock that out real quick and then just keep with the process and holding shift and now I'm gonna bring my arm back in even more just to see what it sorta looks like and I'd say that's honestly it's pretty good and if I switch to here I'm, I'm totally fine with that that's that's good um, all right and let's bring that to zero and that's really the main direction you need to worry about it in um, you'll you'll start to move the shoulder and you're like wait why is this kinda looking weird don't forget that you also still have the clavicle also to sort of adjust some of that animation with now I'm gonna go to the elbow and I changed it so I just have rotate Y on here I'm gonna bring it in just a bit and you'll see I'm getting that weird I mean it's, it did exactly what it's supposed to do but we need to go in and adjust it just a little bit and we're gonna go to uh, paint skin weights tool skin paint skin weights tool and now I am going to go to my elbow and I am going to start to sort of paint in here and then hold shift and smooth and fun stuff like that. I'll go back to my shoulder and I'm gonna bring in some of that information. Oop. Bring my brush a little bit smaller. And now in here might even just start to smooth it just a bit and bring it in actually even more here. Okay. And kind of as you're painting on one part uh, it'll you know it kinda averages out on the joints I'm, I'm gonna say that's pretty good I'm gonna go with that that's fine for my elbow animation here and then let's just check the wrist and what I'm gonna do on the wrist is go to L wrist and I'm gonna bring this up and I'm just gonna kind of get rid of all of that and then I'm gonna bring my brush smaller and just sort of 
soften this out a little, smooth it out, maybe a little bit bigger. And just give it a little bit more of a smooth transition here. So I'd say that's pretty good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is the fingers. And the fingers will take quite some time. So just do the best you can. <clears throat> but I'm going to cover all the fingers right now. I'm going to go L index 1. And all you're really doing here is just making sure it's not bleeding into the other one. So you'll notice I'm getting push and pull on the middle finger here. So when I go into paint skin weights, I'm going to go down, L index 1. I'm going to hold control, and I'm going to just start to paint out everything on L index 1. Then L index 2, again, same thing, just getting rid of that additional information that's not needed, L index 3. And just because it's entirely black, and L, L index 4, doesn't mean that there isn't any information on it. So it's always good to go ahead and double check. OK, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my and I could go in there and paint the other ones well, but I just I don't want to spend the, too much time on just one section. So you'll notice again, I'm probably going to get pull on both of these fingers. So I'm going to pull up on the middle finger. Again, select my mesh and go to my paint skin weights tool and scroll all the way down and go to L middle. And I'm going to start to L middle one. I'll bring my brush down a little bit and just holding control. I'm just getting rid of that information. Same thing on L middle tool uh, two. Ugh. Excuse me. And L middle three. And L middle four. And that kind of gets rid of everything on the index finger. Now I'm going to go to uh, back to the L middle one. And I'm going to start to paint off everything on bring my brush smaller everything off of the ring finger now all right and now we'll go to the next one you'll see it drastically changing out middle three and we're just painting off all of that stuff that we don't need and L middle four and now I'm going to go to my ring finger but I'm actually going to select the rig and just move this down and you're going to see the ring finger I need to get rid of information on this finger and the pinky finger so I'm going to select my mesh again paint skin weights tool and I'm going to paint out scrub all the way down where is it L ring one hold on did I miss label things I did so I can I should be able to change this without it making any difference on my rig. Hopefully it can. Yeah. And that's exactly why it can get confusing if you don't label these properly. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that these are all working properly also. Yes. Perfect. All right, so you're seeing a lot of strange deformation happening in here. So I'm going to go to my paint skin weights tool. Now that I have it labeled properly, I should be able to maneuver through this a little bit quicker. So I'm going to go to the pinky. Uh, for whatever reason, it put the pinky first. So I'm going to hold control on pinky one and just start to paint out this information here. 
And I personally find this to be like the kind of fastest way, uh, just by staggering the fingers so you can really see where uh, any issues are happening uh, very quickly. And I'm just literally painting off all of that information. here and we're going to start to paint off that information on the pinky here. And this is just a basically a rough first pass. This typically can take couple passes what I call I actually call it a battle a, a battle test um, before uh, you can say okay this is a hundred percent ready you kinda gotta get in there and animate it to see uh, if you missed anything because chances are once you start animating it you will notice it and yep. and let's see if the pinky actually affects anything on this one doesn't look like it. There we go. There we go. So now it's starting to look a little bit better. Alright. So I think I did all of those pretty well. Um, we're just going to push forward the thumb. We'll animate the thumb real quick just to see what it's looking like. And we'll go down to the thumb spread. It's good enough and up down and you'll see I'm actually getting a lot of pull in here so if I go into from the forearm L thumb one and let's just increase the brush size and just paint out some of that stuff we'll go to two just to see just to make sure go to three and four and that should be good and now I'm going to bring um, back all of these controllers to zero. Oop, and visibility on. All right, so I'm just going to run a quick test here. It definitely needs, you'll see it's scrunching up, it definitely needs a little bit of painting, but I just, for this example, I just didn't want you to see uh, too much pull or pull on the fingers and you'll probably see it here I don't see too much but you'd have to go in here and paint the fingers individually and let's check the spread real quick it's working fine let's go up and let's go down let's see that curling in and it definitely does need uh, a, a stronger paint job on the paint skin weights on there but it's totally fine for now um, let's go into the head because when I rotate this I'm getting lots of crazy deformation in here so I'm going to select on here and I need to make sure I know which joint this is neck 4 it's called so I'm going to select on my mesh here and I have it rotated slightly I'm going to go down to neck 4 and here I'm going to increase my brush size and I'm going to 100% paint everything on the face on neck 4 and you'll see it just starts to take shape. And back here I'll just run a quick smooth, but just to make sure I kind of get it. All right. Again, now I'm going to go and take this head controller and bring it to 0. And I'm going to go to my neck controller and rotate this and I see it's rotating pretty well now you don't need to exactly use this one but you do get some cool neck stretching and stuff like that um, however when you're primarily animating the neck you're more than likely just going to use this one um, now going on to the jaw this one's tricky so we're on jaw 
job one, so I'm going to select the mesh, go here, <coughs> paint skin weights tool, and I'm going to go down to my jaw control. I think it was called jaw one. And I'm going to simply paint in, I'm going to do it on both sides for this one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm simply going to paint in just on this jaw. And I'm going to paint out what I don't need right up until, I don't know, say something like this. All right. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it for now. And then I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, come back around. And now I'm just going to smooth it out coming into the neck. I'm even going to actually raise some of this in the neck here and just smooth it out where I can. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this jaw controller, I'm going to rotate it down. And you'll see I didn't get enough of it, so I need to go, I'm going to go directly in the mesh. And I know I didn't have you guys create this uh, sock inside the mouth, but I did anyway, um, just to show you. Let's turn it in. Let's go here. And I'm going to paint the bottom lip down right along with it and then here I'll just start to smooth it I'll just smooth it coming into the mouth <coughs> like so and I'm going to smooth it a little bit up here you know just kind of clean that up a little bit because I don't want too much texture stretching if if possible and just smooth it a little bit over here and basically f follow the same process I'm only doing both sides for this <coughs> part right here just so I can kind of get a good look at it and now you'll see I can actually open and close this jaw using the jaw controller. And you'll see I actually have something in the eyeball up here painted on. So I'm going to take that off. And that could, there we go. And we'll go down to the other jaw, joint two, and just paint that out as well. And come back to it. And now we're just going to maneuver it a little bit more and see how it's reacting. I think it's doing pretty good actually. So now I can actually even close the mouth 100%. And I do have I do see a little subtle mesh kind of thing going on right here, but it's good. It's fine. And now his mouth closes 100% and I can even open it. And by default, it's at 0. So now that I have that taken care of, um, let's double check to make sure that anything I did didn't affect anything else, but it seems to be working really, 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 really well. Um, and I th think that's about all we need to cover in this video. So um, I could go in like I did with the elbow, the shoulder, the knee, uh, and the hip and do that each for each individual finger, but um, for now it's totally fine. And now what I'm going to do is when, I'm, when I select my mesh, I'm going to go to skin and in past versions sometimes this worked really well and sometimes it didn't work at all and sometimes it messed it up so it was kind of a little randomized um, so I'm going to go to skin I'm going to go to mirror skin weights and now would actually be a really good time control alt s to save and we're going to do closest joint yz positive to negative um, and then go ahead and click mirror and now this should yeah it's it's basically it should ex it should basically interact exactly how you skin weighted the first side so and let's check the leg it does mess up the leg sometimes a little bit
and I'm gonna go with it. I think it's totally fine. And just something like this, uh, just give your 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 best shot on the uh, skin weights. And since a lot of my um, texture work is reliant on my normal map here, I just want to see how the texture is actually deforming because it's really important. That's a, a really important concept to understand is that actually this these materials will stretch and you'll get something called texture stretching. Um, I'm even though I painted it off, it, when it mirrored it, it kind of retained some of it, but that's fine. Um, and then uh, you would want to go back, do another pass, and start to like clean up even after the mirror, because that's just like your first pass. Um, and you might have to do each side individually from here, but it would only be minor touch-ups. Um, because for whatever reason, sometimes it doesn't flip or mirror the skin weights 100% uh, properly. And it's always good to also just check to make sure that everything's sort of still working. So just so you can see, I've got the right smile still working, the left smile still working, the brow down, the other brow down, and then the upper lip up. So now I can bring his lip up and his jaw down. And we get, ah, right? So we can get some really cool um, animation out of this. And um, other than that, uh, it's definitely before I close this out, check to make sure the clav is working pretty well um, but other than that I don't have much else for you uh, the spine and the chest usually do a great job on the auto bind yeah, it might need a it might need a few touch-ups but it's pretty good but the spine usually does really well um, and uh, yeah so anyway um, it definitely needs a little bit more but uh, to get you started on painting skin weights, um, that's about it. So uh, we've binded the skin, and we have now also painted the skin weights. So um, we're ready for animation. Uh, what I recommend when you're done with all of that, um, and you're really happy with your overall uh, character, Go ahead and lock these joints up again. Uh, just uh, clicking on, you know, like my character joints. I don't want to accidentally select the joints again. The character mesh. I don't want to accidentally select that while I'm animating, right? So the only two things I actually want to be able to select is the rig itself. And one last thing we can do is check to make sure that this is scaling properly, and it is, which is awesome. So that's really, really important. And then the other thing is, is that. Uh, yeah, just make sure that those two, uh, just the rig layer and the and the mesh, it, the mesh is on R, and uh, you're able to select just the rig layer, so we can now get into animating. Um, and yeah, so let's just see how the other knee did. As I, I think it's, I think it did pretty good. Yeah. So there's my um, character here. Um, again. If you have any questions on painting the skin weights, and also you can turn shading and x-ray joints off, and now you have just your character rig uh, fully ready to animate, uh, completed animation rig. So anyway, um, that's all I got for you in this video. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. I know I'm repetitive with that, but I can't stress it enough. And um, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.